the more I look into it, the less likely it seems men and women are ever going to communicate properly. Like, our brains are physically different. Where is it? What? Smiley! So, whatever. <sighs> Sylvie, calm down. Calm down! I've had five guys come up to me and ask me if that graffiti is true. I hate her! Oh, I hate her! Sylvie, leave, leave Charlotte! I mean, Smiley's so alone! Oh, Sylvie, this is crazy! It's just coincidence Charlotte had an accident in her knee. Oh, was it? Well, Sylvie. I guess we'll just have to find out, won't we? Sylvie! Yeah. Oh. Well, Sylvie's verbal skills seem to be working well. I don't know about the rest of her brain. And as for Matt, well, his brain and my brain were still the same now as before we kissed, so what's changed? Oh. <laughs> Welcome. Today we are talking about the sizable differences between the female brain and the male brain. The male brain is slightly larger than the female brain, but size is not everything. <laughs> okay. And the female brain has got a lot more grey stuff, uh, which means we talk a lot more. Okay, now we're going to see what happens when we plug in the male brain. <laughs> now, tell me how you're feeling. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, now let's see what happens when we plug in the female brain. <laughs> Now you tell me how you're feeling, yeah? I still don't want to communicate. Is that okay? Oh, uh, okay. Um, that's what happens when we plug in both brains. Yeah? <laughs> oh, I thought you'd gone to sleep. Oh, I can't sleep. Ah, what's troubling you, my child? Have you ever had trouble talking to boys once you'd, you know... Once you'd what? Um, kiss them, or whatever. Ah, been kissing anyone I know? Do I have to answer that? No. But say this guy used to be a friend, and then we kissed, and now we're not. Friends, I mean. Is that described as normal? <laughs> normal as it gets, kiddo. Fabulous. Eve, is it going to be a problem having Adam staying here? No. Oh, it's not Adam. Oh. oh mind you, I can understand where Mum got that impression. Sylvia turned into a voodoo witch. Matt wasn't talking to me anymore in case we were going out. At least Adam seems... ...normal. You right? Sure. I'm not about to risk my friendship with Adam by doing anything dumb. Like kissing him again. Oh my god, it's worked. I have powers. I did this to you. What are you babbling on about? This. See? This is what you get for spreading nasty rumors about me. It's official. You're insane. Pretty big coincidence, though. Huh? The rash is a reaction to the drugs they gave me for my neck, and then I got an eye infection. It's got nothing to do with your stupid doll. Careful, Charlotte. I wouldn't want you to trip and have another nasty accident. You need help, Sylvie. You really do. So much trouble. OK, maybe he's not that unattractive. Special occasion. Yeah, sorry, mate, sir. I had to pick up these new feeds for this audition straight after school. Oh. Good luck. Um, got your assignment. I am willing you to turn around and talk to me. Go on. Do it. Lenny. Yeah? Pass the pen. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Sorry I'm late, sir. Oh, Charlotte, you have been in the wars. These things are sent to try us, Mr. Englewood. These things are sent to get you back, Charlotte. Get help. OK, Sylvie has gone a bit too far. But at least she's expressing her feelings, right? So that's what I need to do with Matt. I'm the girl here. I'm supposed to be the one with better verbal skills. So it's up to me to sort things out. 
And I will. As soon as I work out what to say. Time's up, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> get lost, Jarhead. We want to play basketball, so you get lost. No, you don't. Don't go at me, man. Careful. Could have done yourself an injury there, mate. Ruined your big career wearing tights. <laughs> you jerk. But do you want to take me on, huh? Huh? You loser. Don't let him get to you, man. Yeah, right. Better go check on your boyfriend. I think we might have made him cry. <laughs> <laughs> Matt! Matt! What? Uh, I needed to... Uh, I wondered if we could talk. We've got to find somebody to practice. Well, what's wrong with the gym? Jared and his loser mates. Don't let Jared get to you. It's my problem, not yours. Well, that went well, again. Look what I bought. A book of spells. I am so going to make Charlotte suffer. Sylvie, you've got to stop this. This is crazy. Stop? This is just the beginning. By the time I've finished, Charlotte will be begging for mercy. Even Sylvie is lost to me right now. I'm running out of people to talk to. I'm not Sylvie, far too preoccupied. Not Matt, for obvious reasons. Not Adam. No, wait. Adam's a boy. Maybe he can help me with the mysterious workings of Matt's brain. Yeah, sure, it's hard to figure out where our heads are sometimes. <laughs> Same goes for girls, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, but Matt's been so distant since we, you know... Yeah, I know. I don't want to lose him as a friend. Maybe the whole thing's a bad idea. What do you think? I think that Matt really likes you. If you really like him, then... I do. I do, but... Then go for it. I don't know. I, I did, but I don't know if I like him that way as much as I did before. Look, this audition is huge for him, so maybe if you're just there for him, then... Oh, yeah. I've got to go. So now all I have to figure out is what I want. Simple, right? As if.